Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, as you can tell, we're in for another manga shopping video. And so today we're going to be going to Barnes and Noble. And it's been around two, three months, I think, since I last came to Barnes and Noble. So I'm in for a treat. And I've also been in Asia for the past couple of months. I haven't been able to catch up collecting on any English publications. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to go fill in some gaps in the collection, maybe explore some new series. And it's just going to be a fun time overall. And before we get going with the shopping, I wanted to give a huge thank you to GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. So as you can see today, I'm wearing glasses. I was a glasses wearer for like 15, 16 years of my life until I got LASIK eye surgery last year. It's because I got LASIK eye surgery, I think it's so, so important to keep your eyes healthy and safe. And I've been able to do that with these glasses. So GlassesUSA.com, they sell everything you would need for eyewear. They cut out the middleman. So this is different than if you get glasses from an eye doctor or an eye storefront. GlassesUSA.com offers over 10,000 prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses, including in-house brands and also designer brands, Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and so many more. And they usually offer these designer brands at up to 70% off retail price. So that's incredible. And so with GlassesUSA.com, you get a completely risk-free shopping experience. There's free shipping and returns, and you also get 100% money back guaranteed within 14 days. And so there are basically no risks to trying out any frames and glasses that you might want to try and so the glasses that i have are blue light glasses so if you don't have a prescription you can definitely try out their blue light glasses and so i got these glasses around two weeks ago and so i've been using them every single day and it has helped so much in making my eyes less sore and also if you're not a glasses wearer and you prefer contact lenses glassesusa.com also offers contact lenses you get 25 percent off of all contact lens brands on their website so such as vista plus accuview biofinity and so many more and so when i was picking out my frames i was kind of uncertain how they would fit me on my face and I used this for almost every single pair of glasses that I wanted to try. I used it to finally decide on this pair. So this is the first frame that I got. Here it is. So this is the other pair that I got, but they have these half black rims, which I think are so unique. So huge thank you to GlassesUSA.com again for sponsoring this video. Definitely go check them out. There's going to be something on there for every single person out there. So please go check out the links down below in my description box to get your own glasses started today. Thanks so much GlassesUSA. And without further ado, it's time to go to Barnes & Noble to start shopping. So let's get going.
Alright guys, so I just got back from Barnes & Noble. So if you guys haven't watched my manga tracking video yet, I was able to create a spreadsheet that basically lists out all the volumes I do have and all the volumes I need. And so if you guys haven't watched that, definitely go watch it if you're interested to see how I track my manga. That's what I've been using to go into stores so I don't buy duplicates. So the first series I got was Imakoi. Luckily, this is the only new series that I got or like one that I don't have in my collection already, but I've been wanting this series ever since I first laid eyes on it um, a couple months ago. Imakoi looks so, so, so cute, and I've been reading the synopsis. I read it like 20,000 times because I've keep on deciding if I want to get this or not. I know this is this already looks like kind of like the bad guy, nice girl trope, um, but I feel like you typically don't see characters that look like him. He looks a little bit less generic than the other shoujo male characters. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Yeah, so I got volumes one and two. So the art is just so adorable. So basically, um, this girl, she has missed out a lot on love. She's never really confessed. She was always a little bit too shy to confess. Um, but then suddenly, she decides that she wants to take action. So the next time she has a crush, she decided that she would confess. And so that's what she does. And to her surprise, he agrees. And so after that, it basically goes on the story. I also think it's really unique that they start out dating while some other series, they just like, they take 20 volumes to get to the dating stage. So yeah, that's Imakoi, super excited to get started. And guys, I don't have much storage on my phone left, so I'm gonna have to go through this quick, but I'll explain more of this in future videos too, if you're interested. So the next series I got was Vodering With You, volume three, and this is the only one that I was missing. I have volumes one and two. And so I've watched the movie, but I haven't read the manga, so that's what I'm going to be doing now that I have volumes 1 through 3. And then I got My Dress Up Darling. I was debating between this and Rent a Girlfriend because I'm still intending on collecting both of them. My Dress Up Darling has been taking a little bit more of my heart recently, especially with the anime. Had to get volume 5 of Rent a Girlfriend. Really loving this series so far. Cosplay, diving deep into your hobbies and not being ashamed to express yourself. A lot of those themes in that series if you've never heard of it. And the next series I got, Sign of Affection. Y'all, I don't even need to talk that much about it. You guys know how much I love this series. This is a shoujo series that takes place in college between a deaf girl who uses sign language and a guy who loves traveling and loves learning languages. Y'all already know where that's going, but this is so, so adorable. Really excited that I have volume five now. And the very last series that I got is Love Sick Ellie. And I just recently hauled volumes one to three of this. So I decided I would continue volume four. I've only read the first two volumes so far, but so far it's great. <laughs> very cute shoujo about this girl who gets, you know, caught online with her words. Um, the art is also just so adorable. 
as you guys can tell, my theme this trip was shoujo. Honestly, now that school starting, I find that one of my main stress relievers is reading shoujo. And if you guys have any other great recommendations for shoujo series, let me know. I'm all ears. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I have a bunch of exciting videos coming out for you guys soon. But yeah, in the meantime, thank you guys so much for your continuing support. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys are having fun collecting manga, starting school, but still having time to enjoy, you know, your hobbies and things like that. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!